right? Final round, 2019, right? Top 8 was really good, right? If you're a Street Fighter player and you really follow that shit, those matches were hype. Like, student versus teacher, Momochi versus uh, Johnny was really good. And I think Johnny is really coming up, right? Brian F is like the come up. He's definitely coming up this season too. All in all, the competition was good. I don't know. I, I didn't check the numbers per se. I should. But I don't think that there were that many people. And even if there were, not a lot of people. There were people watching. But I feel like they were more anticipating an announcement that was going to happen at final round. Right? Because, and the reason I know this is because at the end of the stream, at, well, or actually at the end of the match between Punk and Momochi in Grand Finals at Final Four, more people were coming into the chat. I think the chat reached almost 45,000 people after the match was over. And it was just five minutes of straight Ultra David and James Chen just talking about random shit. So we, we were all thinking, hey, they're buying time, right? They're going to buy time and then give us the announcement, right? Turns out there's no announcement, right? No character, no nothing. Like, nothing. Now, you could argue, all right, sure. We got to feel the fate stage. The Alpha 2 player in me that loves that game to death, I love that stage, right? And I'm glad that it's a legal version now because in the original Feel the Fate stage, the grass was too high so you couldn't see the, the buttons, you couldn't really play footsies like that. So I'm glad that they really revamped it and I hope the stage doesn't lag, right? That and the Mega Man costumes are not enough. The four month wait is not enough. I get that they gave us Kage back in December, but they announced season four with Kage same day and Kage was actually leaked or rather, he, he was released earlier than anticipated and Ono didn't expect it. So a lot of people weren't even watching the finals for Capcom Cup because Kage came out and everybody was already finding tech. I remember there was a tweet, right? I think three months ago, Logan posted and said like, yo, WSO Logan, he was like, yo, everybody, right? Everybody's complaining how Street Fighter V is not getting any news right now. But you guys got a Street Fighter League you guys got a Capcom Pro Tour date for when it's gonna happen. You guys got costumes, you got a character, you got Kage. Why are you guys complaining? The thing is, is that it completely, like, it completely negates or it doesn't even consider the casual market or the casual fan base that might still be playing the game, right? And the regular consumer. Not everybody is going into esports for this shit, right? Not everyone is thinking, hey, I'm going to go on Twitch TV and watch Street Fighter League, right? Sure, they're going to see it in the game, and it took Capcom a while to implement ads for that, right? With the whole sponsorship, which, which no one uses, by the way. No one even uses the ads in the game. But I digress. There's stuff in the game to lead you into Twitch.tv, but not a lot of people, especially like the consumer, is thinking about that, right? Most people that are picking up Street Fighter is going to want to continue to play the game and try to find new things about the game to keep it alive and relevant, right? Because that's that's really the, the main market. Granted, this game is now more focused on the esports scene, and I'm starting to see that even more, especially with the end of Season 3 and the Season 4. It clearly shows that they're not really, like, trying to focus on the consumer base. They're more focused now than ever on the esports scene. But with all of what I just told you, that doesn't excuse not having an announcement four months later for like a character or a new mode. When season four came out, or actually when season four was, was going to happen, when we were close to it, when we were on the cusp of season four happening, and x Kira was blowing out a bunch of like leaks and stuff about what's gonna be in the game, costumes, characters, stages, etc. When x Kira was doing that, that was the prime time hypest thirstiest water thirsty type shit cami cowboy costume thirsty type shit that was how thirsty street fighter 5 players myself included were for new content that didn't just equate to another chun li costume or another like mega man throwback costume all right i don't mind those but i think the character reveals are what matters so like when there's no reveal now for four months past season four's release date and mind you, season four, everybody was talking about, oh, we're gonna like fucking get all this new like mechanic shit. We're gonna have V break, V cancel, all this nonsense, right? 
and everybody was making all these rumors, primarily Xkira again, right? It was hype. You cannot, you cannot lie. Everyone was getting hyped for season four. Everybody that was playing Street Fighter V was getting hyped for season four, and they were interested because they loved the game, right? You can't deny it, all right? You might hate this game just like me, but you come back to it because you know at the end of the day, you love yourself some Street Fighter, and that's why you come back. Or you probably come back for the tits and ass, it's whatever. But anyway, point is, four months later, and still nothing. There's no excuse for that. There's no excuse for that. Now, Capcom has been killing it so far with Double May Cry 5 and with um, and with Resident Evil 2 Remake. You know, they've really been killing it. Monster Hunter World has obviously been beating the crap out of everybody in terms of sales. They've been doing great, right? I think Division A or Team 1 or whatever, they're doing godlike. But the fighting game division, whoever works with the fighting games for Capcom, they gotta get Itsuno or somebody. Like, they need somebody, like, big. Like, they need to actually, like, do something, right? Don't tell me that, oh, but we have the costumes, the stages, and all this esports stuff, all right? I'm not talking about that. I mean, we need actual, like, an actual character or a mechanic. This does not feel like Season 4. Kage did not usher in Season 4. Kage came in, he was like, yo, this character looks cool. Frame advantage, tyrant. And, uh, yeah, Tyrant and his friend, but those two, they said that Kage was gonna be, like, S-tier and shit, right? <laughs> or rather, like, up there in the tier list. And now look at him now. Only Vae plays that character. Only Vae plays that character. And we haven't seen him in tournament. If we did see him in tournament, I didn't even notice because he definitely just drowned. Kage. He came in, everybody was hyped for him. I was hyped for him. Point is, right, Kage is... Kage's trash. <laughs> Kage's trash. And everybody didn't even... He doesn't even exist in the game right now. He doesn't even exist in the game. Couple that with the balance changes for the game and everything feeling roughly the exact same. I'd say Kami got hit a little bit too hard, but she's still pretty strong. There's no denying that. You clearly saw me get washed 5-3. Um, <laughs> but no, all jokes aside, seriously. Rashid, Ibuki, Akuma. They're all still there, right? They're all still there. Um, Guile is still something, right? A lot of the characters that were in Season 3, that were doing a lot of work in Season 3, are still strong in Season 4, aside from maybe Cammy. And Cammy is still strong. It's not looking good right now. And the fact that there's no announcement and no word from Capcom whatsoever about anything but that Street Fighter League and everybody voting for the same faces from the FGC to come in. You know, Brian F is going to come into that shit. You know, all those Pikami, everybody that you know in the FGC with the same faces are going to come in for Street Fighter League to generate drama and hype. But you had the, the hype and drama right there. Everybody basically like waiting, drooling for more content. All you have to do is that. Do more of that. Give more content. Esports is already doing great, in my opinion. I think in terms of, like, the tournaments and stuff, I think it's doing great. I think it's doing great. Granted, you know, the sponsorships, dropping a few players and stuff, that looks a little bit dark. But I think in terms of the way Capcom is handling their pro tour and everything, I think, I think it looks great so far. But where is... Where is the stuff in the game? Where is the new stuff? This doesn't feel like season four. It's pretty bad. You could get away with saying, oh, one to two months, you got a lot of stuff, but now we're on month four. Where the hell is the content? Where the hell is the new content? I don't care about a stage. I don't care about a costume. Where is a character pass slash season pass, by the way, which Capcom still didn't announce. Where's the season pass? There's no season pass. They came out on Twitter saying, yo, there is no season pass for season four. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? There's no season pass for season four. There's no character season pass for season four. Why? There's no, we got plans in the future though. We got plans in the future. I am sure that when the time comes, we will be excited to get what we get. You definitely will. I can't wait till you see what we have in but store. Unless we get told that something is happening, should we not assume that something is happening? Is that the best course of action to take? I mean, if there's like, I think I think eventually there will be 
that it won't just be nothing, 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 nothing. Boom. I th I think they're doing it. <laughs> there'll at least be there'll be some breadcrumbs. Yes. Look, man. I don't care who you are in the street in the fighting game community or whatever. Street Fighter Five. The brand might be doing great, and it may still be getting numbers on Twitch and beating out other games. Dragon Ball Fighters and Street Fighter. I'm telling you, Street Fighter had like the most viewers so far, right? I think Street Fighter Five is doing great esports side, but in the game we need more shit because this game look is looking like it's on its it's on its last like on its last life. It's really looking bad. I think it's looking bad because it's just getting stagnant. That's what I, that's the best word to describe this game right now. It's becoming stagnant. It's becoming complacent. It's becoming the same shit. And that needs to change. There needs to be something. Something else in here. A lot of people have been complaining about wanting a little bit more of a defensive options in the game. And they've heard you a little bit. But there's no, like, extra mechanics to spice shit up. And it doesn't even feel like Ultra Street Fighter 4. Where we got, like, five extra characters. Fuck Elena, by the way. And, you know, what else? And the, and the Ultra Combo 1 and 2 and Red Focus. We got new mechanics and stuff in that game. It, it felt new. And then we got Omega Mode in the mix as well. So, you got content. But here it's just like, what's happening? Like, like, are we dead? To wrap it up, Capcom did say that their business prospects or whatever for Street Fighter V is going to keep going on until 2020 right that's their plan is to keep the game alive a little bit until 2020 right and so far it's 2019 we're not even at 2020 yet you would think they would they would try to go out with a bang and then wait for street fighter 6 or something right give an announcement but i feel like they're just holding this over and just staying silent right now and telling us just to deal with this shit so i don't know it's not looking great for your hero me personally what does this mean for me well obviously i'm gonna still play this game because i got a lot of you people in here right now just watching me for this because if i play a different game then you guys are already going ham with leaving so you know i think street fighter is still a part of me i still love street fighter in general right and street fighter 5 i have a love hate relationship with it you already know and i wouldn't feel this way about Street Fighter 5 if I I wouldn't feel this way if I didn't care for it because I can't lie I want the game to get better I want this game to get better a lot of people that love Street Fighter they don't want to see Street Fighter 5 get burned alive but it's happening it's gonna happen it is what it is the, the main premise that I'm trying to get at here is I think Capcom might be waiting for Street Fighter 6 and if they're not waiting for Street Fighter 6, then we need an announcement soon. Because this is ridiculous. I don't know who in the marketing team decided to say, hey, let's not just announce anything for four months and keep everyone in the dark. And just announce a Street Fighter League that has no publicity, by the way. That has, like, soft rules preventing streamers from being able to stream the tournament. And which had to get clarified, by the way. Street Fighter League wasn't even getting, like, fully publicized over here in the West. Japan was getting more coverage for SFL than E than, than, than over here in the West, right? That's bad. That's bad. Why is there no coverage for Street Fighter League? Why? That's the last thing that you want to promote. And aside from the, the really bad logo, what's happening here with, with, the, with, with showing us what's happening with the, the online qualifiers? We should be able to see the online qualifiers. Just like you did the online qualifiers for Capcom Cup, there should be online qualifiers being streamed on Capcom Fighter. Why is that not happening? Why are other streamers trying to stream the game and you're telling them that they can't because, oh my god, they have to play across these, like, crazy rules where they have to have, like, a 10, 20 second stream delay and they can't show certain things or whatever. Ma micromanaging someone else's stream. No. No. It's just bad. It's just bad. Period. And, again, I, I really think that something in terms of marketing needs to change or what have you. At least an announcement to bring people back in because this game is getting stagnant. And that, that's just the way it is. So, I'll still be playing Street Fighter V because you guys love that shit. I, I'm, so long as you put 
Cammy or whatever hot chick up in this game for me to play in their sexy $4.99 costume with the secret code. As long as you put that in and you give me G and Nash, I think I'll be okay for a while. So that's pretty much it. If you guys want to subscribe, hit the subscription button down below, the big red button on my YouTube. Definitely click the notification bell so you know the next time I upload another fire video. And if you're watching from the Twitch chat, you can see it right there. Say hello to YouTube, everybody. That being said, another great video. See you guys next time.